Hello there gorgeous YouTube collective and welcome to today's pick a card reading with me the high maintenance hippie and in today's reading I want to find out what the person on your mind wants to happen between you. Now this person can be a crush, they can be somebody that you have just met, someone you're dating or somebody that you are in a longer term connection with and I do want to find out how this person is feeling about you. I want to find out what this person actually wants to happen between you. Do they want things to stay as they are? Do they want to progress with you? Do they just want to be physical with you? Let's find out the juicy details today. So if you want to delve into this reading with me, Pick one of these three piles. Pile number one is meditation for clarity. Pile number two is cleansing body and spirit. And pile number three is accept love. I highly recommend that you go with your first gut instinct. Spirit is going to guide you towards a pile which has the most relevant information for you. Once you've chosen your pile, I shall see you in your reading. Hey there beautiful pile number one, welcome to your reading. Let's find out what the person on your mind wants to happen between you. So I do feel history between you and this person. I don't know whether this is somebody that you know from your past, maybe this person's been a friend at some point. I don't know whether you've already attempted a connection with this person and it failed. <laughs> I don't know whether this is a long-term connection here and if it is a longer-term connection I do feel that there has been a connection through home or that there is a connection through family or if this is somebody that you don't know very well I do think this person's energy may feel familiar to you because of some kind of past life connection here but I do feel regardless of where you fall Part number ones, when it comes to how you know this person, there has been some kind of distance or there is some kind of distance or disconnect, whether that be physical or emotionally, because I do see this person having their sights set on coming back in and specifically coming back in with this Knight of Cups here. Now, this person does have a lot of love for you, but I'm feeling like a hell of a lot of a desire. So I do think this person may fancy the absolute pants off you my part number ones but i do feel that you guys are in a state of maybe take it or leave it maybe putting energy into yourself rather than putting energy into this connection and that's the best thing you can do because i do think my part number ones have leveled up and this person can feel that and that is why they are feeling that drive to come back in now i do think this person's going to come back in with some kind of offer and whatever that offer is will be different for all of you depending on what stage you're in when it comes to your connection with this person i do want to say for some of you there may be an offer of engagement and that will be for those of you who are in like more of a longer term connection here but again that won't be for everybody i'm just feeling there being um a ring offered but this ring is still offered because they've made some kind of previous boo-boo. Now, I do want to say my part number ones, you may be seeing 222 or all the twos, 22, 22. Or maybe you'll start seeing these numbers, this angel number 22, 22, when this person is about to come back in if they haven't already came back into your life. Now, I can't help but notice there's a shark underneath this Knight of Cups. So again, it just clarifies that there's a risk when it comes to this person coming back in because this person has no idea how you how you're going to take them and how you're going to take this offer again it really does feel like this person has messed up at some point but they can feel your energy or they just can't forget you with this nine of swords being apart from you or having this distance makes them feel very very anxious six of wands and that's them seeing you shine at the moment seeing you succeed i don't know whether some of you are in the public eye or whether some of you just have like a really popping social media at the moment because it's like they're watching you through like a phone or a computer screen and again you're just shining bright i do want to say for some of you you might be dating other people or you may have moved on from this connection with another person and again this it really makes this person feel anxious here with the nine of swords and with the judgment this is them knowing that them coming towards you will result in them having to take accountability for what they've done and again what they've done will be different for everybody because i am feeling for my part number ones a lot of people who are in different stages with this person now for those of you where this is a newer connection i do want to say there could be a fear 
around this person even if you don't know this person very well and i do think that fear may come from something they've done in a past life or some kind of betrayal um in a past life between you guys i want to say like i can feel like this i can for some of you you may work with this person because that's came through very strongly right now but i'm feeling when this person comes close to you it could actually result in anxiety there's like butterflies there there's a nice feeling there there's a familiarity there but there's also an anxiety there as well and i do want to say that's because there's a past life connection between you guys and this person has hurt you in a past life now for those of you in that newer connection as well if this is a crush or dating situation again this person may be quite standoffish or they have been very standoffish with you and you've reached the point where you're like oh god do you know what i'm just gonna focus on me or focus on moving on to somebody else and again this person has had time to think now and they realize how much you are shining and they know that you want they want you now so they're going to come back in and they're going to um give things another shot okay and again for those of you where this is a crush situation this person is getting ready to come in for the first time because i do want to say this person feels that anxiety too i also want to say for my pile number ones you can feel this person's feelings even though you are a part i do feel a very strong spiritual connection with you guys my pile number ones you could have had dreams about this person I do want to say, particularly if this person meditates or if you meditate, you have the ability to telepathically send each other messages as well. Now, this person really does fancy you. I have already mentioned that, but with the Ace of Wands here, they, I just don't think anyone does them like you do. But there's still quite a sneaky energy here with this person. Hmm what's this sneaky energy spirit let's get some extra information on this sneaky energy three of swords i don't know whether there's been or whether you've pushed this person away at some point because for some reason this person feels heartbroken now this could be from a previous connection if this doesn't resonate with you if you guys haven't had that much history and this previous connection has left this person quite wounded. Or if this is with you guys, if you've pushed them away previously in the past, or if you've ended things in the past, again, it's left this person wounded. Here we go. Haunted, my past is affecting this connection and level up, I'm becoming a better version for you. I think if you've rejected this person in the past or if they've been rejected in the past, it's made them feel that they're not good enough for relationships is really wounded this person's ego or this person's self-esteem so they don't feel good enough for connections so it's like they give part of themselves to connections but they hold a little bit back for safety or there could be some manipulation within connections because they don't feel fully comfortable to let themselves go it's like they always have their guard up in some way hmm and this is definitely something that they need to heal within themselves. And I think my pond will bond, you'll feel this when they come back in. You'll still feel that maybe they've kind of skipped some healing. I'm seeing that this person may like fire. I don't know whether they're a fire sign. So Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Or whether they've got some very fire um, or prominent fire in their chart. Because I can see this person meditating and staring at a candle. And I do think when this person comes back in, it may be worth suggesting doing some meditation practices together and maybe this person will be able to focus more if they're staring at a candle or staring at fire i know it's a very random message there but it may help this person focus they may actually enjoy it they may actually and um, want to start taking up meditation because i feel that this person doesn't spend enough time reflecting so that is a little bit of a warning for my pile number ones that this person knows your worth now they know your value now but they're still not fully healed inside. They're still defending a little section of their heart. They're not giving it all the way to you. And they do worry whether you are better off without them. And I do think my partner ones you have definitely detached here. Now, this person thinks about you late at night. And I want to find out what this person actually thinks about when they do think about you. My pile number ones. Just dropped a card on the floor. 
what they'd like to say to you. I wouldn't be surprised if this person, I'm feeling them looking at your social media. I've already said that, but I wouldn't be surprised if this person kind of speaks to themselves or maybe writes out draft messages to you that they'd like to send to you. I also feel this person could be maybe following relationship coaches, psychology coaches, because I feel them researching. We do have the books here with the Page of Swords. So this person could be researching relationships, how to have successful relationships. I don't know whether this person is actually looking into like manifestation and stuff like that with the magician here, because I have subconsciously popped this Page of Swords on top of the magician. So they could be reading like um, books about manifestation, watching the secrets and things like that. What else do they think about Lent at Night Spirit when it comes to our pile number ones? The lovers. I think they do reminisce about the times where you've been intimate together. I do feel that they imagine a future with you. They imagine your wedding day. They imagine your kids. They imagine what it would be like coming home from work and popping their coat on the coat rack and being able to just give you a big kiss and sit down and have a warm dinner with you. Now, this person is giving very King of Wands energy here. Again, it's more of that fire energy. This person doesn't need to be a fire sign, but they could just have that very, or embody that very fiery go-getter kind of energy. There is a selfishness to the King of Wands though. And again, I have given you a little warning to say that this person isn't fully healed. Even if they come in thinking they're fully healed, they're not fully healed. So there may be an issue with um, some of the old situations some of the old scenarios coming back in again if this person returns and you accept them back in with this 10 of wands they are still going to come back in with burdens maybe there was an argument between you guys at some point and they refused to admit that they were wrong in the argument that's coming through too what else do we have here spirit what do they need to heal there we go those rejection issues there's been rejection at some point when it comes to them in their history whether that's been with you or whether that's been with a previous person they are still going to come in with those rejection issues, not feeling like they're good enough and feeling bitter about that. Okay, so let's pull some bits and bobs from the bowls just to end off for you guys, see if we can get any more extra information or clarification. You remind me of a girl that I was new. <laughs> I've got a very croaky voice, guys, because I had a little bit of a cold about three weeks ago and I've just not been able to get my voice back. I don't know whether this new croaky voice is my new voice and I'm never, ever going to get my old voice back. But hey ho, but yeah, you remind me of a girl that I once knew or it could be you remind me of a boy that I once knew. Weirdly, I've been singing that around the house recently. You remind me of a boy that I once knew. So anyways, um... Again, you know, you could have similarities to an ex of theirs. You could be very similar to somebody who has rejected them in the past. Bear in mind, this could even be like a mother, a father. It could be any situation. It could be a friend. And it could be that you actually remind them of this person. Or it could just be that they are in another connection with somebody and being involved and opening up their heart just reminds them of this past connection where they've been rejected what else someone in my circle has advised me against this connection i might try and find out who that person is and i can see myself settling down with you and this is what i'm saying with this lover's energy and then thinking about you late at night this person thinks about those very kind of like i want to say mundane parts of the relationship coming home from work, seeing you, taking the dogs for a walk, you know, these kind of things, and it just warms their heart. Now, who is this person in their circle who's advised them against our amazing part number ones? Whoopsie daisy, dropped too many cards. Okay, who is this person, please, part number, number? Who is this person, please? Have some information about this person who's advised our part number ones person against them. the world is this a father i'm getting a father a masculine figure a boss of theirs hmm okay i think there's a masculine around this person who's advised them against you this could be a father this could be a boss this could be a friend but i feel that if this is a friend they're a friend with a lot of authority 
over this person or naturally has a lot of authority in general. Maybe they've got a very good job. Maybe they've got a family. They've got the kids. They've got the beautiful car with the beautiful house. And this person has advised them against you. Spirit, why? Why has this person advised them against our pile number ones, please? Dropping cards left, right and centre. Okay, they're saying that there's too much drama between you guys. Um, they may be saying that you are emotionally unstable or maybe saying that you make this person emotionally unstable. And there's also something about you being very enticing here. Now, I actually want to say this person who's advising them against you could find you very attractive. Okay, so this could be a jealousy thing. Look at that with commitment behind this. Some of you may actually know who this person is because you know that this person may have a little thing for you. But for those of you that don't resonate with that, this person could find you attractive. They could be a little bit jealous because they don't want your person to have the like S-E-X-E-S partner. Or this person may think you're a little bit of a minx or a temptress, a little bit of a siren. May say like, oh, don't trust pile number one because they're a little bit too, you know, S E X E like <laughs> this can be by the way gender gender does not matter here okay I'm gonna use the um, example of a female here but if you are a masculine same goes okay just make it fit but it could be like I wouldn't trust that woman like all I'm hearing in my head now is she's a man to make you work hard make you something something make you want more of her love or something like anyway i don't know the flipping words so i shouldn't have even started singing but i thought i knew the words but i'm just hearing that in my head like she's a man eater so it could be i wouldn't trust a woman like that she's a man eater i'm also hearing phil collins now easy lover she get a hold on you believe it okay and also a bit of dirty diana as well michael jack all these songs like popping into my head so um yeah it may be that you're just a little bit too good looking a little bit too tempting and i think this person advising your person against you could be like i wouldn't trust her or him they could be a little bit manipulative but obviously that's absolute bs but again i do think they have a little bit of a thing for you they have some attraction for you as well whoever this person is but yeah i am going to leave that there pile number one this person wants to be with you or have another go with you around the merry-go-round this person is into you they have a lot of love for you and they have an exceptional amount of desire for you so yes <laughs> take care of yourselves beauties and i shall see you next time goodbye hey gorgeous pile number two welcome to your reading let's find out what the person on your mind wants to happen between you now, pile number two is I feel like you guys could be my intuitives. I do feel water sign energy with you. So that's Cancer, Scorpio and Pisces. But you do not have to be a water sign. You could have heavy water in your chart or you could just be connecting deeper with your emotions at the moment. I'm also feeling you connecting deeper with what spirituality means to you. Now, I do feel we have a bit of a counterpart mirroring energy with you and your person. So if you are deep in those fields right now, they're in the same boat. They could be connecting deeper with their emotions. They could be connecting more with spirituality and what that means to them too. Now, I do feel your person could be going to tarot readers or psychics here with the high priestess, or they could be practicing tarot themselves or watching tarot readings online like this. And there's something about this person feeling left out in the cold by you. So I don't know whether they've done something to be left out in the cold or whether you guys have just lost touch for whatever reason. I do feel this person feels very abundant when you're in their life and without you, they just feel poor. They just feel like their life is dry without you. Life is cold without you. I don't know whether you are quite successful whether you are successful as in very well known or successful materially i i actually want to say this person may not have amazing style and you come in and you advise them when it comes to their style it does make me think you could be more attractive than this person or again more stylish than this person and when you're in their life you make them look bigger better 
it's like you bring in that very Jupiterian energy. So I don't know whether my partner number twos have any connection to Jupiter. Maybe you've got a prominent Jupiter in your chart, or maybe you have very prominent Sagittarius energy in your chart. But it's like you come in and you just make them better in some way. It does make me think that you are someone who's very developmental by nature. You could actually be a coach of some kind, or you could be a tarot reader or a psychic or something along those lines don't have to be but you could be i don't know whether there was an occasion where this person rested on a situation with you because i'm hearing they rested on me it makes me think that it could have been a time where you wanted this person to fight for you whether this fight was against another person who maybe upset you or against something that's upset you or whether you wanted them to fight for this relationship at some point and i'm just hearing them saying i'm ready to fight now i don't know whether there was a um mental block when it comes to this person i don't know whether this person potentially tried to treat you at some point like you weren't s-h-i-t because now all i'm hearing is doja cat saying don't have ain't shit all up in your crib can't pay your rent or something i don't even know the words guys i keep singing songs i don't know the words to today but i'm hearing the tune in my head so maybe you want to listen to doja cat <laughs> okay um actually it's a really good song if like you've been hard done by by someone it's like yes play it in the car play it loud Woo, <laughs> girl power so yeah again it makes me think because the lyrics in that song again i don't know them off by heart <laughs> The lyrics in that song do talk about like someone who can't pay rent and they just eat your food out your fridge and stuff like that. So again, I don't know whether this person took advantage of your generosity and your abundance at some point and now they realise like they really ain't SHIT. Like, mm -mm -mm. they're like, oh no. <laughs> it just, you know, you get in relationships with some people and they come in. I'm going to be quite blunt here, but they come in as trash, absolute trash. And you're like, do you know what? I'm going to give this person a go because I can see a good soul. I can see potential in this person. They get with you and all of a sudden they think they've gone up like two leagues or three leagues, depending on what league they were in originally. And then all of a sudden they're acting like they're better than you. And they are so delusional that they think when they leave you, they still remain in that league. And then they leave you and they lose everything. They lose all of that shine you gave them. They lose all of that street cred that you helped them get. <laughs> and it's given me that kind of energy for you guys, part number two. So I don't know whether you resonate with that. Like this person literally feels like the Ten of Swords without you. They feel like things can't get any worse. Like they feel that they are at the pits when you guys are apart or when they don't have access to you. So for some of you, this could be a connection where you are disconnecting with them because you've had enough of something. Or you have already disconnected from this person and they are in severe pain. Like it's like their heart is aching for you. Bear in mind as well, we've got this night energy here twice. So this person could be younger. They could be, um, I want to say like in their 20s I'm getting. But if they're not, this person, I mean, this person could be 50 and acting like they're in their 20s. So there's something very immature around this person. So... Yeah, maybe it's a case of them needing to grow the F up. And as well, like this young kind of late teens, early 20s kind of energy can be um, influenced by their hormones a little bit. So I do want to say there could be situations here where this person has been influenced by their hormones. I am getting them talking to other people or flirting a lot as well. So I don't know whether you've caught them flirting talking to other people behind your back or maybe this was a dating situation and you found out that they were just dating every tom d and harry um i'm also getting 11 11 coming through for you guys so that does tell me that you guys could be moving into a brand new phase of your life things are going to change for the better also be very mindful of your energy when you do see 11 11 so i do think you guys are going to start seeing that number if you're not already because you will be manifesting your next chapter in those moments when you see that number. So make sure you're thinking positively whenever you see 11, 11. It can also tell me that you guys could be going into a brand new chapter with this person where things are going to be different. I do actually think this person 
is trying their damn hardest to be better for you. I do actually trust in this person as well when I'm tapping into their energy. I can see that there is a very kind heart here and all they can think about is relationships with you, marriage with you, families with you very, very strongly here. Like this person knows it's you. They know now or they've always um, known, but they've just, you know, poopy duped up a little bit at some point here. So they want it all with you. You are their person and they are sure of that. It's very, very solid in their soul. It's very solid in their soul. Does that even make sense? It's very solid in this person's mindset. That's what I want to say. It's very solid in this person's mindset that it's you that they want to settle down with. OK. Now, again, this person may have had their boundaries up. They may have had their defences up. Again, this could be because of past hurts. Let's have a little look and see what this boundaries is, Spirit. Okay. Three of Wands and the King of Cups. I want to say this person could have very strong emotions. This person could be very watery as well. A lot of kind of Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, some Moon or Rising energy in their chart. Okay. Because they can love so deeply, because they can feel so deeply, they may have had their boundaries up with you. And I kind of want to say at times this watery energy may have broken out. Maybe this person had some anger issues because sometimes the King of Cups can have like anger issues or be emotionally manipulative. Three of Wands. Again, were they directing this energy elsewhere hmm let me think about this one for a second guys maybe the only way they felt that they could calm those emotions calm the waters within would be to just distract themselves from them pretend that they're not even there so maybe this person was really cold with you at some point i am also getting through again that kind of talking to other people giving other people a chance like again it was because they're very imbalanced inside it's like you can't get that emotion that um i want to say like that delicate intimate energy from another person i don't know why i want to use the phrase delicate or the word delicate but you can't get that delicateness from another person if you're not showing them any emotion if you're not giving out anything so i don't know whether you've been very kind of harsh maybe you've brought fire to the table and they've brought Maybe you've brought fire to the table and maybe this person is like, wow, like there's an intensity to palm number two. But they can't have the delicate version of you, that beautiful, watery, intimate version of you if they're not expressing their emotions. And I think this is something that they may have realised and they've been learning how to emotionally stabilise themselves so that they can access those emotions and not just bury them like they were doing before so i hope that makes sense for you guys this is again you know you could be very developmental this person is actually very developmental by nature as well and that's why i like this person i think this person is the kind of person that can change and make progress now this is our last chance to make this work for some of you this could be a second chance and you're very adamant this is the last chance that you'll give and for those of you where this could be someone who is very new dating crushing this person may know that you're not someone to be messed with and that they only have one chance with you so they better come at you healed and ready to express those emotions but i like this energy part number two because i do feel that this person genuinely genuinely is a match for you i do feel that they are a match and i'm not going to say this is the only person in the world for you this is the only choice that you'll have you know there's you've got many different soulmates um that you can choose from but this person is definitely one of your soulmates they are a counterpart of some kind and they literally are infatuated with you they are addicted to you and i do think this is the kind of person that would try their best to do the best for you yeah try their best to do the best for you let's end off by pulling some info from the bowls okay is this how many is there oh it's quite a lot i'm gonna do you know i'm gonna give them a go i'm gonna give them a go 
let's do this properly. As I said, this person's coming at you right. Like they're doing the work now, they're healing. They know they've only got one chance with you. My ego is bruised and I'm acting out of character. I think that's a past thing. For those of you who have history with this person, this person has acted out of character previously through um, some kind of bruising of the ego, not controlling those emotions, feeling so deeply and holding it in. I'm just getting like a boiling kettle on the stove now. And I'm hearing just like a like a really really um strong like screeching kind of sound which is that like kettle boiling over and i don't know whether that's how they felt on a regular basis like they were like that like they were just gonna like explode yeah it's like i mean i don't know whether this person has a lot of anxiety or did have a lot of anxiety and really suffered with anxiety i want a new beginning with you but on my terms okay so we clarify that they do want a new beginning with you but on their terms what are these terms spirit let's just give this a little go what are their terms let's try and clarify this what are their terms spirit oh my goodness gracious i have just dropped two cards on the floor temperance temperance and strength i do do you know what i think this is i think this is them wanting you to be soft with them i think their terms are let's give this another go if this is a returning situation let's give this another go but please be easy on me i'm hearing <laughs> i'm hearing Adele again i don't know the lyrics very well but be easy on me baby oh, yeah, that song i was just a child i don't know the rest <laughs> i'm just hearing that playing in my head here it's like give me be easy on me. Give me space to be the best person for you. It's like, please don't try and expect perfection. Please be gentle with me. Um, yeah, give this another chance. But their terms are, be gentle. And I'm even hearing them saying, some of you might be annoyed by this, but... They're like, if we give this another chance, you need to forget the past. Whether that past be because there's been SHIT with you guys before or whether this is a new connection and they want you to not tar them with the same brush as some of your exes, okay? They want you to be gentle. They want you to understand that they're healing as well. And yeah, be easy on them. This is a process. They're saying like Rome wasn't built in a day. So that's their terms here. I haven't told anybody about this connection. Okay, so they're not talking to other people about your connection. For some of you, you may be wanting to know whether this person is like chatting SHIT about you, whether this person is um, talking about you, but no, they're not. And I think about you before I fall asleep at night. So yeah, this person's got it bad. I'm hearing Usher, I've got it bad now. Yeah, this person doesn't want there to be anybody else involved in this because they know that I'm hearing too many cooks spoil the broth. So I don't know whether there's been people involved in your connection in the past and they've got in the way of this connection. This person wants this to be personal between you guys. They don't want other people's opinions. They, I even want to say they don't even want to tell their parents about this because they don't want their parents to try and butt their noses in because they want they know that what matters is the energy between you two. And if things work out between you guys, if things go well between you guys and you two can like be solidified again or become more solidified if this is an existing connection and you just want this to go to the next level. You know, for some of you, and I, I always say things like this, I always do this later in the reading when I really should have done it. Like, it should have been one of the first things I said. For some of you, you could be in a connection where things have been really kind of flat. And you're like, God, when are we going to move to the next step? When are we going to move in with each other? When are we going to get married? When are we going to have kids? And this person is like, go easy on me, baby. Like, I need time. I need time to get myself in the mindset for these things. I don't wanna to talk to my parents about it. I don't wanna to talk to my friends about it. If I'm gonna do this with you, I wanna make sure that I definitely am ready to commit in that way. And I do think if you are somebody watching this who's waiting for somebody to commit to you, this or, or progress the relationship with some form of commitment, this person is going to come in with that progression. They've just needed time. They just need you to be gentle with them. And they're not getting opinions from anyone else because they know that this decision needs to be made by them. Okay, part number two, I am going to leave that there, beauties. So 
if you like this video drop it a like if you've got anything to say at all comment down below if you like content like this subscribe and i shall see you next time goodbye hey there part number three welcome to your reading let's find out what the person on your mind wants to happen between you and straight away i'm hearing somebody say somebody needs to make a damn decision so i don't know whether this is you or whether this is them now, I am getting that you guys could have some kind of history with each other. You could have known each other from a childhood or when you guys were younger with the Six of Cups energy here. There is a friendship energy here as well. So I don't know whether some of you are friends with this person. And either one of you want to progress this into something a little bit more serious here. Now, I'm getting really early stages with this person. So crush energy, dating energy, or early stages of a relationship here. For those of you where this is a longer term connection, it could be because there's been a lot of back and forth, a lot of um, stops and starts with you guys. So even if you've known each other and been involved in each other, actually or romantically for say like 10 years, you could have had very long gaps in between you could have given things a go for six months been separated for three years do you see what i'm saying okay so don't take the numbers too seriously but i'm just using an, an example so you could have known this person for like two years but there's been big gaps in your connection so this person hmm is it them that needs to make the decision here i kind of feel like i want to say it's both of you that have the power to make a decision this could be a lot of mind games and calling each other's bluff here too i don't know whether there's a bit of a mexican standoff kind of energy here and you're looking each other in the eyes and it's like do you want to be with me and they're looking in your eyes thinking do you want to be with me but it's like neither one of you wants to be rejected but it doesn't feel very it doesn't feel very serious. It's not like you're avoiding rejection because you feel that your heart is going to bleed out. Like, it's more like, it, it feels more playful. Now, it doesn't mean that there aren't serious feelings here and that you guys, you know, really do have like a deep connection. But there's something around whatever's happening at the moment not feeling that serious. There's like a playfulness here. I don't know whether you have a very playful energy with this person. Whether the times where you guys have been together, if you're not together now, it feels like you're teenagers. It feels like you're kids again. Now, this person with this Page of Swords energy here does want to communicate with you if you are out of communication or they do want to speak some kind of truth to you if this person has been holding back the truth now i want to find out what this is please spirit what's this page of swords just cards flying everywhere today guys okay am i just an option is coming to mind seven of cups and the six of pentacles am i just an option for you is there more than one person I need one more card for this. I'm a little bit confused, part number three is already. What is our pile number three's person wanting to say to our pile number three's peers? What are they wanting to express to our pile number three's peers? The hand man. Does this person need some time to reflect? I'm going to throw a few scenarios here, okay? But does this person need some time to reflect, but they're too worried to give you time or give this connection time because they feel that you have other options and they might lose you does this person see this connection from a different perspective now if this is a friendship connection do they want to express that they see you as a love option i think it's going to be a bit different for everybody But they want to express their honest truth. And I think this person, whatever that truth may be, feels that the, it's something that either is, an, is inappropriate to be spoken or something that may offend you. I can feel like this person wanting to kind of like tell you and like they're just holding their words back. So I'm hearing like somebody, somebody going, uh. Uh, uh, when they're trying to get a word in edgeways like, uh, uh, and I think this is this truth they want to speak to you 
they're like trying to get it out but they just keep holding it back okay this person really wants to speak some truth to you i wonder whether if i pull from the bowl i could find out what this is oh it well, there's two here my hobbies take up too much time and again that that kind of clarifies what i was saying here previously where i said this person may not be ready for this yet they may want to take a break they may want to take a pause but they don't they also don't want to take that pause because they think you're going to move on with somebody else so it could have something to do with their hobbies and we've also got i have someone else so <laughs> seven of cups is this person weighing up their options the six of pentacles this person's giving to two people Huh. It's going to be different for everybody, okay? For those watching part number three, it does not mean that your person has another person, but we do have the two of wands, two people, two of pentacles, juggling two people, giving to two people here. I do think for those of you where there are two people, I do think you may have suspicions or you may know that there's two people. But for others, these two things that this person is giving to is like a hobby or it could be work maybe this person doesn't have the time to give everything to you right now or they don't feel ready like i'm hearing them say now like i'm just not ripe yet so i don't know whether they feel like they're too young for this commitment whether they feel like they just need a little bit more time to um play the field is what i'm hearing that actually makes me a little bit angry <laughs> if someone said to me um, I really like you and you mean a lot to me, but I just feel like I need a little bit more time to like ripen and play the field. I'll be like, right, get in. I think I'll give them a good old kick in the cojones. But, you know, if this person is younger, if this person is in a phase of their life where they want to enjoy themselves, fair dues. Do you know what I mean? Like, you can't force someone to grow up, can you? But the part, and please don't leave me here, part number three is okay. Please don't be annoyed and leave me here. Because bear in mind, some of you, this could be work, this could be a hobby. It doesn't have to be another person. It doesn't have to be someone wanting to play the field. But bear in mind this bottom row here, okay? We have connection, unity, deep love, soulmate. We have commitment, vows, promises, fidelity. Secret admirer. Okay, this person could have been a secret admirer at some point. We have cleansing energy, healing, detox, purification, and they are obsessed with you and watching you. So... Hold on, part threes, because this is going to unfold a little bit further. So this person is in a mindset of feeling like they don't have the time to give to this right now, but they don't want to let you go because they don't want anyone else to have you. They don't want you to go for one of your other options. You are going to be somebody who is in high demand and highly desired, part number threes. And this person knows that and they know that they can't play around. So... That's what they wish they could tell you. Whilst also continuing to manifest this, continuing to manifest something serious with you. <laughs> so I'm confused. I am confused. And this person is clearly confused here with this chariot energy, this way or that way. I'm hearing that this person likes the way you look on their arm. I'm hearing that this person finds you very, very physically attractive, if I've not mentioned that already, because I can't remember whether I have. But this person is really drawn to your physical appearance. And I think they're very drawn to the kind of status you have or the status your beauty brings to them. There is a bit of superficiality with this person. I do think there's a very strong, strong physical se actual attraction to you. And I do think that's something they don't want to miss out on. I feel that this person may be studying at the moment or doing a course or doing something to better themselves when it comes to themselves and their career of some kind. So maybe they're very, maybe the hobby is better in themselves. Maybe this hobby isn't like a silly little hobby. Maybe this is them having to like study and they don't feel like they've got time for this right now. Maybe they don't feel like they can fit everything in. This person could be reading a lot of books. I also want to say this person could be reading some self-help books as well. 
And then going on to this bottom row here with this secret admirer. Now, for some of you, this person may have been a secret admirer at some point. But for those of you where that doesn't resonate, I am very drawn to these words down here. Suppression, shyness, resistance. Maybe you make this person feel shy. And I do get quite a cocky energy with this person. So I don't think there's somebody who normally feels shy. But I think you may make this person feel shy. You may make this person feel a way that they've never felt before. They may have some resistance towards you because of how vulnerable they feel with you. And I do think you may be one of very few people or the first person who has pushed this person to open up their heart and be vulnerable. And I don't know whether I've mentioned this previously, but I do think you both have some work to do when it comes to opening up that heart. I don't know whether I'm speaking to some people with like blocked heart chakras. I would suggest for my pile number threes for you and your person, maybe kind of like carry a rose quartz with you in your pocket or in your handbag just to help like open up that heart chakra because there's something about your heart being closed now bear in mind you could be somebody who feels very very open but there may just be like a little still a little bit of you that needs to open up a little bit more okay those gates aren't fully open they're nearly open but they just need opening up just a little bit more okay and also this heart chakra this blockage around the heart chakra is going to affect manifestations because when we manifest we manifest from our heart it's our heart that is the magnet and the pulse that draws in these um these manifestations okay so bear in mind that to manifest successfully you do need to have a beautiful nice open heart chakra this could also be some advice for your person as well if they are doing like research on manifestation here i did say this for part number one i did get the page of swords and the magician out for part number one as well i did say that person may be researching manifestation or trying to manifest something in and i do think for this person it could be some kind of career success but oh my goodness, goodness, oh my goodness, <laughs> when I pre-pulled these cards here, I literally said, oh my god, I said it out loud, regardless of what position this person's in in their life, regardless of whether they are too young or too immature for a connection, regardless of whether they think that they may need to play the field or they feel that their hobbies or their studies get in the way of this connection, they want you, they want to commit with you, they feel this connection between you guys, they know that you guys are soulmates and they, I honestly think this person thinks this is my future spouse. I can feel it, I can feel that this is my future spouse and I think that's why they are making you hold on could you keep me holding on? What's that song? Oh, what is it? Things I use my phone to film now, so I can't even Google it to find out. Found, found, find on, find on, keep me holding on, find out. <laughs> Could you keep me holding on? Oh, blah. if anyone knows what that song is again, please comment down below. But that song may mean something to you. I'm going to have to Google it because I actually think from the very little portion of that song I can actually remember. I think that song is a jam, but yeah, it's like this person's keeping you holding on because they know that there's something very special and something very significant about your connection, but they just think, oh, right person, wrong time, maybe for some of you. And I do want to say for some of you, it may be that, and I'm going to use an example here, but for some of you, it may be that this person is going to finish their course in six months. And they're going to have more time and they're just like, please, part number three, just if I could just get part number three to hold on for six months until I finish this course and then I'll have way more time. I can take this more seriously. Although or for some of you, it could be like, I just wish I had another three years. All right. So bear in mind that for some of you, this person may just need a little bit more time until they can give you themselves fully. For some of you, it may be something a little bit longer, okay? And it'll all depend on their circumstances. If there's a financial thing, it may be because they're like, oh my God, like just give me a little bit more time until I get my finance in check so I don't have to work as hard. Give me a little bit more time so that I don't have to study and work at the same time. Or it could be give me a little bit more time because I am young and I want to play the flipping field. <laughs> different for all of you but you'll know depending on where this person is in their life and look this person watches you they have been stalking your socials they have been looking at pictures of you this person has probably been touching themselves <laughs> with pictures of you and they are literally obsessed 
their feelings for you run so deep it hurts and this is why they've got to just keep you hanging on <laughs> yeah guys wow okay let's pull some little bits from the bowls to finish off for you guys and just see if we can gain any more information or get any clarifications i don't feel that one or do I? Do you know what? I'm going to keep it. I'm going to pull. There's one here that I was kind of half feeling. So I think that's a message for some of you, but not all of you. Okay. And just one more, please, Spirit. Oh, oh, oh. I can feel one there. Oh, I want that one. It keeps slipping out my fingers. Yeah, I'm just going to take this one. Okay. My ego is bruised and I'm acting out of character. Okay. This person, I did mention egos, didn't I, at the start. So this person may have a bit of an ego on them. Okay, they may be, they may not have um, dismantled their ego yet, so they may act out of character. My hobbies take up too much time. That's the second time we pulled that today. So, guys, like that's pretty legit. I have someone else. I actually don't think it's someone else. I think I have something else. I don't have anything in this bowl to say I have something else. So I think this is actually I have something else. I don't see them having someone else, but I will pull for that in a minute. And then I can see myself settling down with you. Okay. What's this I have someone else spirit? Let's see if we can get a clarification for it. The hermit. Right. Clarification. If they had someone else, it, we would not pull the hermit. Okay, this is someone staying in, focusing on themselves. The hermit likes to study. It's the Virgo card. Okay, this is somebody staying in, studying. This is somebody keeping themselves to myself, themselves, keeping myself to myself, keeping themselves to themselves and working hard. Okay, this is somebody who is doing self-reflection, improving themselves, studying, working hard. Okay, they have something else not i have someone else okay but yes i'm gonna leave that there part number threes if you enjoyed this reading please drop a like if you like content like this please subscribe and comment down below if you've got anything to say at all absolutely adore you guys and i shall see you next time goodbye